Balm had an outstanding career as a player. He played 159 games with Richmond between 1969 and 79, booting 230 goals. He played in two premierships in 1973 and 74, was made a life member of the Tigers in 1979. He came from a superb breeding ground, Subiaco Football Club, a superb breeding ground. Hey, what a coincidence, I'm from there too. His coaching career was just as impressive. In 13 years of coaching in South Australia, he never finished out of the top five. And it's that record which encouraged Melbourne to snare him at the start of the 93 season after John Northey's departure to Richmond. We caught up with Neil and we asked him what the difference was coaching in South Australia and the AFL. This is the occasion where you go back and hit the big barrel. Let's see if he can. Drop punt. He's given it a barrel. He's given it a big one. It's a ride. It's a goal. A beautiful kick. He salutes the crowd, kisses his brother, and levels the scores. <laughs> you know, it's a lot uh, tougher competition here. There's no doubt about that. And probably the players put in a bit more and they work a bit harder. And uh, that's a lot harder to win a game, I guess. But um, I think footy's fairly similar around, the, around Australia. Cow can run on and go for goal with a drop punt and put it through. Goal up, but it moved. We've been under a lot of pressure. We, uh, we struggled um, in the first four games to have a win. Um, but then the West Coast game in itself was very important to us. Unfortunately, they had a couple of their uh, better players out. Um, but that, that's the way of the game. But it was a terrific effort from our blokes on that day to, to really hang in there. It was a pretty tight struggle and, and get up and in. Look at the big man go. Inspirational stuff indeed. The two Jakovic's almost on a collision course. Open goal obs. To play Collingwood uh, is always is always a terrific experience for players because they, they really are a side that uh, certainly I respect and I think most people do and they've got a terrific um, support and backing so it, there's always a terrific atmosphere there but to, to get up and win was a great achievement from our guys. Djakovic on the turn, Djakovic gets his name. You know we're, we're playing um, a reasonable good brand of footy but I think we've got to play at our peak every week to be able to beat the best sides and it's very hard to expect that of the players. It, whilst we do, it's very hard to, uh, to play 20 games at your absolute peak. It's often been said that you play the game week by week and I know that's a throwaway line but really that's very much the case now and particularly for us. Um, we're in a position where every game is very important to us and we've got to scramble now to even you know, to be a chance to uh, to compete in the, the final six situation, but that's very much what we want to do, but we know there's a lot of hard work between now and then. He's kick up towards half forward, oh. back across behind, but he's outmarked on that occasion. So to all those Melbourne supporters out there, that the most tangible way that you can support the club is by going to the footy, but going to the footy with your members' tickets.